All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. And what we're going to do today is get ourselves uh, another weapon, another multi tool, and deck it out with some different um, weapons on there. Because I primarily use the Scatter Blaster, um, very rarely the Bolt Caster anymore. And, you know, of course, the Mining Beam is always a. Uh, a reliable thing. So first things first, we're going to get off this godforsaken planet full of awful sentinels and head up to our um, the anomaly where we can go pick ourselves up another uh, cool multi-tool. And I think we've got one more in uh, waiting for us there from the Twitch rewards. So in the meantime, I'm going to check out my ship that I store all my uh, mods on because I know I've got some mods for the uh, multi-tool on here and if I have the right ones we'll take those off so we can dupe them later just for uh, you know trying this out and seeing how this works so let's take a look here I think it was in the cargo section actually and yep we definitely have something for the yeah we got them okay we're good so I think the plasma launcher and the geology cannon are kind of the same thing, only the geology cannon is tougher. And I think we might put the pulse spitter on this gun as well, since we haven't really messed with that, just to see how that works out. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup and all that. I'll see you guys on the anomaly. All right, so yeah. We've got one more weapon in here for sure. I don't think I don't know if it's a good one or not. We really uh, haven't done much as far as looking for excellent multi tools for this guy. So it was a Twitch reward. Let me pick it up there, and there it is. Memories of the Abyss, right? So we'll get that. Don't think there's any others. No, there's not. All right, so let's get that one, and then we'll deck it out. We'll take a look. It's ugh, damage potential is absolute crap. But hey, we're going to deck that out a little bit and make it better. Um, uh, okay, yeah, it looks like I forgot to pick it up. I just looked at it, so. <laughs> oh, by the time you watch this, Hurricane Ian should have been through my area, and we should be on the back end of the storm. Um, trying to put out enough content to keep everybody entertained while that storm goes through. Um, but depending on power adages and all that, it might just, you know, could be a few days of interruption here for the first time since I started the channel back in February of, uh, of this year. So that'll suck, but hey, it's an act of God, so to speak, right? All right, let's take this multi-tool and let's deck it out. So we're going to go somewhere where we can... Um, install all the upgrades on it that we need and all that fun stuff so we'll catch you there all right so we went ahead and went to a space station and upgraded it to an s-class um, multi-tool 50,000 anites boop, just like that and then we went ahead and used a bunch of multi-tool expansion slots to um, yeah, give it a three rows of eight, 24 slots. That way we have the maximum amount of room possible in a multi-tool. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we can pretty much do everything we want. So let's start the installation process here. Like I said, we're going to do the plasma launcher, the geology cannon, and the... Uh, what's the other one? We're going to do the pulse spinner, I believe. And we'll get those all decked out here. So, um, And we'll... Yeah. It'll take a minute, but we'll check back with you once it's all decked out, and then we're ready to test out the new multi-tool. All right, well, that's pretty much it. We have everything in there that we need. The Memories of the Abyss is fully loaded as far as um, being ready for our testing purposes. So what's left to do now? But give this puppy a shot. So... Uh, the pulse spitter is pretty cool. Uh, we go between the mining beam and the pulse spitter on the right hand side up there. If you look in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and the alternate weapon is either a plasma launcher or the uh, geology cannon. So I can't wait to test this thing out. So we're going to go ahead 
and go visit that sentinel planet that gave us such a hard time in the last video and try to deal some damage to those buggers. I'll see you guys there. Time for some payback. Alright, well we're here. Let's do it. Look at that. There's already sentinels out there just hanging out, chilling out, having a good time. Now one thing I learned when I got here uh, the first time I just went out and tested out how to fire the gun and all that and I learned the hard way that you can blow yourself up. So be careful with that. <laughs> so, and yeah. It, it's the plasma launcher right now. It's dealing some decent damage, you know, nothing nothing incredible there, but not bad either. Um, let me just get around here a little bit and engage these Sentinels. These guys gave me such a hard time. I'm still thinking I like the Scatter Blaster a little better just for the control aspect of it, but this, this isn't bad. This is a good way to clear out an area, you know, um, which makes it kind of fun so let's try this out a little bit plasma launcher on these guys and then we'll switch over to the uh, geology cannon but yeah you got to be careful man you will blow yourself up with this stuff man and that sucks all right see the pulse spitter's not bad does some serious damage i kind of you know I almost think that having a weapon with that and the scatter blaster on it would be a great combo, um, especially for something ooh, like maybe doing those missions in the uh, where you have to kill all the monstrosities. Might be a big help in those kind of things, you know, because uh, you got so many of them. The scatter blaster is effective in there, yeah, but you know, if you're a little distance away from them, it loses its effectiveness. So that's the only negative part of it, where that. Uh, pulse spitter might be a better weapon to use in that case. So let's try out this geology cannon. Oh, that thing's devastating. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And that's the problem with, you know, grenade launcher. Oh boy, that hurt. Do you see that? I almost blew myself up completely. Wow. <laughs> So you definitely want to be careful with that. So yeah, the problem, you know, the problem in a game when you have a weapon like that that's explosive is always that friendly fire, whether it be from your, uh, from someone you're playing with, talking to you, Hobbit, or even, ooh, almost killed myself there, or, you know, your own self. Oh, damn, yeah, look at that, I am hurt. All right, well, let's get out of here. We see how effective it is against Sentinels. Now let's uh, test it out on resources because I'm kind of curious to see how effective it is for resource gathering. Well, let me just heal up a little bit here. Because it could be a fun way to gather resources, especially on a on a densely packed planet, you know, that has a lot of... Uh, we've all been on those planets where you come up to that area where there's just trees and rocks and it's all jammed together and you got to fly over it or whatever. It'd be fun to have one of these just to blast your way through it, gather up all of the different materials and just keep going on, you know? So we'll go to our original base here, man. Gosh, it's been forever since I've been here. This is the uh, startup base. And um, yeah, <laughs> we'll do a little, uh, we'll do a little uh, research there, a little science as I always like to call it, right? Science. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below. Have you tried out the geology cannon or the plasma launcher? Pulse Spitter, what is your favorite multi-tool uh, weapon or whatever you want to call it, um, accessory, you know, a lot of different things we can call it here, but let's go test this out real quick and see how it works. So we'll just do a little fire. Okay, we got ferrite dust, carbon, facium, silicate powder, wow more ferrite dust so yeah it does gather everything in the in the blast radius area and if we really wanted to we could have made a ton like i should have had that maximizing your modules video a few days back um, we could have made a ton of them and really got the best of the best we could go uh to the pirate stations and get some uh uh what do you call it the ones the x modules which tend to be either really good or really bad maybe we'll find some really good ones and be able to really deck this thing out. So, 
Well, that's pretty much how it works, and uh, we're going to need, I think it's plasma to fill it back up. Um, let's check it again. The plasma launcher, it's the unstable plasma. Yeah, I think it's the same thing for the geology cannon. So we'll have to either go get some of that or make some of it, or I probably have some on my uh, on my ship. That's the one drawback of it is you can't just whip up more um, ammunition for it like you can uh, the pulse or the uh, uh, regular bolt caster or the scatter blaster. You know where you just use ferrite dust and you don't just refill it like uh, with carbon like the mining beam. You got to have the uh, unstable plasma so that's the only negative uh part of it but thanks for joining me as always i'm captain beefy with the game vault and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications i try to put these videos out every single day even if there's a hurricane coming uh leave a comment and a like on the video down below it is greatly appreciated and if you share us on social media well i'll just owe you so until next time we'll see you